Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday. I go back to work tomorrow for a half day for prep. But I didn't come on here to talk about work. I came on here to talk about some of the some of the things I saw in my um, comment section. Um, for those of you who feel um, the same way I do about the diagnosis that we got on Wednesday, yeah, I'm not exactly happy, and it kind of sucks that Jerry has to spend um, 30 more days off her feet. And I'll explain I'll explain everything that I I saw and heard in a second. Uh, the other thing was um, alternative to taking care of Jerry while I'm at work. Well, we've already sat down and talked about that. Um, we're gonna sit down later on today uh, to do meal prep and talk in depth between me, Mom, and Jerry. Um, unfortunately, my insurance does not cover home health care people, um, in my area. Um, they cover for St. Louis, Springfield, Jeff City, but I'm kind of like a small town surrounded by bigger towns, but all the towns that are big enough to have the insurance cover home health aid care are anywhere from two, uh, an hour and a half to two hours away depending on how you drive or what method you get from here to there. Um, so yeah, we can't do that right now. Um, Jerry is trying to appeal the um, social security uh, insurance or assistance. Um, we're hoping that once we appeal it, which we're hoping we can appeal it, um, that money will go towards something here in town where they have people who are home health people, health aides. Um, but if we can't afford it, the plan right now is basically, Jerry said that she's gonna go ahead and just stay in bed while I'm not here. She'll sit up at a 30 degree angle. Um, if she feels like getting out of bed to do anything is to go into the craft room to do stuff in there. She cannot do anything with her right leg, toe touch only still which means she really could not get into the refrigerator. Well, she could get into the refrigerator to get something out, but to put that item into the microwave to heat it, she would have to stand up, punch the buttons, hit start, sit down, wait for it to have done cooking, stand up, pull it out of the microwave, put it down on the stove, sit down. And the only thing is, is how is she gonna carry that hot item um, from the microwave stove area to the kitchen table where she can eat. That's the only thing that we're worried about. So um, mom has already said that she is willing to do reheat. You know, she's willing to reheat or make Jerry a simple lunch or bring her the items to make a sandwich if Jerry wants a, a sandwich. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a large batch of um, tuna fish. So on the days that she wants to eat gluten, she can make, or not gluten, carbs. She can make um, a tuna fish sandwich on her gluten-free bread. Or on the days that she doesn't want to, I'm going to try to make sure we have either romaine or a whole head of lettuce that she can take and make a tuna fish sa uh, salad. So I'm, my mind is thinking about all the different things I can do to help take care of Jerry while I'm not here. Um, but what has caused the diagnosis for the doctors to have her stay in a wheelchair or not walk, basically, is, well, let's see if I can reenact the, um, the x-rays that I saw. The first x-ray that I saw was pre-surgical, where they were worrying about the lower part of the femur. Also showed a small tumor in her leg, her upper femur. Let's say this is a ball socket. The tumor is down here somewhere. Well, that's the pre-surgical x-ray or scan, how they did it. The one that they did Wednesday when we went up there showed that the tumor had shrank and the bone basically broke and collapsed into the tumor. 
So it's not like the tumor is leaking out of the bone area, but the bone collapsed over the part that is no longer filled with the tumor stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, so basically the femur broke over the shrinking tumor, causing her leg to shrink a couple inches. So her right leg is now shorter than her left leg. Are they equal? Because I thought her right leg was long, slightly longer than the left leg. I don't remember. Things that a husband should know. Um, but because my memory does not always serve me um, where I want it to serve me, I have those issues. But um, for the most part, the downside is it, it kind of... It made me go, oh, 30 more days of this. But for Jerry, it was even worse because she was so looking for, she was so ready to get up and start moving and walking on her own two feet. Um, funny thing is the doctor walked in and said, so how are you feeling? And Jerry said, I feel like I can run a marathon. Like I'm ready to go, get up and run, basically. And the doctors were like, mm, hold off on that. And that's when things went downhill. So, for Jerry, it really struck pretty deep. Um, and I feel sorry for Jerry because I can understand. I mean, I, I can only imagine being stuck either in bed or in a wheelchair for 30 days. But to do it for another 30 days when I'm getting sick and tired of the same routine, <laughs> I can only imagine how it affected her. Um... Me, knowing me, I probably would have been like, well, then we have two choices here, Doc. You can either put a cast over the leg so I can at least get up and move on crutches, or you're going to have to have somebody um, literally come to my house, keep me strapped into my bed, feed me, clothe me, clean me up, because, no. Then this for 30 days. I'm ready to, I mean, I'm ready to either, you know, get up and, and move or find an inanimate object to beat the, you know, crap out of them, out of whomever. Um, it was hard enough when I was a teenager to lay in bed for three days because I had a Spigelian hernia. Um, yeah, 30 days, not with my hyperactivity, no, 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 mm -mm, no, I would either be driving Jerry and mom up a wall, oh, wait a minute, that's already happening, and I'm not the one doing the driving, um, little joke there, I mean, she's not driving me up the wall, it's just there are some days where it's like, can I do something? Can I do something on my own? Um, or I'm trying to do something and, and I'm not, and it's not even for me, it's for her or for us or whatnot. And it's like, um, honey, I'm in the middle of something that you already asked me to do or needs to be done. Quit calling me. Unless it's a 911 situation, don't call me. Um, and I've had to say that a couple times to her. It's like, all right, you called me. I'm in here. What is it? Really? 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 You couldn't wait five more minutes to get a glass of water or to have me refill your cups? Now, I can understand when she calls me in there and it's like, I have to, you know, I need help to get up out of the bed so I can go to the bathroom. Okay, we can do that. Um, she's going to have to do that on her own when I'm gone because mom, mm -mm, mm -mm. mom's too frail. For, for that kind of, you know, assistance. But we both agreed that mom's um, participation in her care would be to basically make her some food, maybe fill up her waters, but no lifting, pulling, that kind of stuff. So we're on an agreement with that. Um, 
I know the last couple of days have been a little difficult on Jerry. She did get up out of bed and go into the craft room to help me, you know, organize her stuff. So it's not like I've been doing it by myself. It's just, I'm the, I lift things up and put them down. I lift things up and I put them down, um, person. Yes, I'm making a joke, you know, an old joke on Planet Hollywood. Um, or not Planet Hollywood. Something Planet. It has to do with gyms. Fitness Planet. Something like that. Um, or Planet Fitness. Whatever they want to call themselves. I don't know. But that's where we're at. Um, I'm kind of thankful that it wasn't one of those, oh, um, that upper femur broke. We're going to have to do an operation and repair that. So, the doctors have given her the go-ahead to do chemo treatments on her leg. Um, which is what they've been waiting for because that's been the area that's the worst. My only concern with chemo on her leg, even though it is directly, it's directed directly towards the tumor itself or the cancer cells, but because of the rod and pins and plate in her leg how's that going to affect those things because it's in it's radiation bombardment and we know that or no i don't know i better i i better not do that um i've heard i've been told that Metal rods and radiation don't always um, go well together. So I'm worried about the rod getting too hot, causing um, micro fractures in the bone because of the heat. But this is something they've been doing for a long time, so I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing. So I'm not, I, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm not overburdened by the concern. If you understand what I'm trying to say. But. That is. Pretty much what's ha happening with Jerry's health. I mean. She's still in good spirits. She's still doing good. Um, she might even still be asleep. Because when I woke up. Or when my alarm went off at 6. She was telling me she had just fallen back to sleep. She had woken up at like 3.30. And I was like, it's okay, baby. You go back to sleep. When I get done doing my thing or whatnot, I'll come and check on you. So, I've been doing this for almost three and a half hours. Trying to get things straightened out in my head. But, um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and just let this video go. Because uh, that's all I wanted to do this morning. Um... So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments on the video, um, let me, you know, post. go ahead and post them. I will try to deal with them to the best of my ability. Um, if I don't answer your messages directly on the message system, that's because I'm trying to, I'm trying to use your question or whatnot in a video. If I did not... Um, answer your question or did not give you enough of an answer to satisfy your curiosity go ahead and ask me again or ask me differently um maybe i'll directly try to answer it that way i focus directly on your message um because i get a lot of different questions and whatnot that sometimes i just don't know how to answer and sometimes i have to um think about it so to speak but anyhow um hope you guys have a good day Enjoy the oh, last part. If you're in, if you have any interest in what I'm talking about or want to hear more, um, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the little subscribe button if you want, 
And then under, after you do that, a little bell pop up. Click on that bell and YouTube will let you know when I put in my next video. So until next time, have a good day. Enjoy the weather, whether it's snowy or nice and warm, depending on where you live. And have a good day. We'll see each other next time around. Bye.